after watching Joker Folio do it, I am kind of worried about director Todd Phillips. I mean, seriously, he brought us great joy with movies like Road Trip and, and Old School and the Hangover Trilogy. And then he came up with Joker. And it was a huge surprise to create a, a very dark character study on a an infamous character. And then he comes out with Joker, Folio Du. And now I kind of feel like he's having an existential midlife crisis. And that's got me concerned. I'm okay with slow films. That doesn't bother me. But when it doesn't build to anything, and I was sitting in the theater thinking this is going to be a powder keg, that something's going to explode. I saw the trailers. I know excitement eventually does happen. And at this point, everything has happened has all been in his head. It's been a delusion. So let's, let's get to the point. What, what's going to happen with the Joker? And not to give anything away, because it's really hard not to, because basically that powder keg does happen, but it comes with a then a bang. I liked the visual style of this film. It's beautiful to look at. It was gorgeous. But you just sat and you waited and you wanted something to just kind of emerge out of this. And that's maybe that's the point. Maybe the point, the whole point of the thing, Joker, is that Todd Phillips really related to this character. Is that he feels that the Joker's not necessarily a bad person. He's just a broken person. That we cannot make a villain out of mental illness. Which is true. I get it. <laughs> but when he comes to, it, when you create a movie about the most iconic character in comic book history, a character that has won two Academy Awards, one for Heath Ledger and one for Joaquin Phoenix playing the same character, you feel like you're going to build on this. This is going to be something that grows and the fans get something exciting from this character. Instead, Todd Phillips continued this character study about mental illness and how we should see broken people. And then in the movie that it's Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn... To throw in a type of love story is interesting, but then again, it just doesn't go anywhere. And you throw in the musical aspect, and I don't know why Todd Phillips said this was not a musical. It's totally a musical. <laughs> it's totally a musical. And that part was fine because what the music does in this movie is give this movie balance. Because without it, this would be just, oh my God tedious this film did not deliver and in fact i think i said it in my first impression review that todd phillips really just kind of flicked off the entire audience or entire fan base because i think we were all going in hoping that this was going to be more than what it is that this iconic character was going to grow and that we were going to get something out of it instead we got something completely different and don't get me started on the ending because I can't talk about it. But for those of you who have seen the ending, you know. And I, honestly, I want to know if you felt like you were just completely let down. I want to know if the ending totally makes sense. I didn't read the comics, so I don't know. Maybe there's some valid reasoning about what, why they did this to Arthur Flack. I get the character study of how he the the abuse and the and the mental illness and everything just kind of conjured up and and having that ending from the first joker to the folio do and then how this plays out i i think we just kind of got scammed hey comic book fans look what i did i'm really i'm very very curious to see what your thoughts are on joker folio do and i really would love to hear what you thought of the ending or what you thought about the second part of it. A lot of my first impression comments are people really not liking this film. So, uh, I, you know, if you love this film, tell me why. I really want to know. Uh, but these are just my opinions. I felt that it could have been 
could have built upon something and grew into something bigger. Instead, it was just another character study, kind of uh, a rehash of the first film, except that they threw in uh, a love interest and some music. That's just my thoughts. Thank you for so much for going on this film journey with me. Please like and subscribe. Please comment. And please continue to follow me in this film journey. Give the people what they want.